minister moja alisema aachiwe nganga basi umeachiwa si mmetakasa kwa citizen ati niko na billion zenyu kujeni kesho boda bode come tomorrow here kuja kesho nini alikuwa ako mishuki alisema serikali itakungoa meno na kuambia ukachukue bidhiri si mimi me am a man of god kisirani jehu my blood muta, you try na sina buduki lakini mimi ni spiritual controller wana Kenya wachana na mimi then kwa Ben Hinn The Neno Evangelism Center is experiencing a significant departure from its usual operations following Pastor Nganga's contentious remarks directed at the ESCC. His impassioned speech filled with fury and anger prompted his media team to temporarily mute him. However, the situation escalated when Sasa TV, the platform hosting the pastor's sermons, felt compelled to issue a live statement distancing themselves from his derogatory remarks. This action was taken to prevent potential repercussions for the media station as such behavior could have led to its shutdown. Welcome once again to Plug TV, your number one infotainment channel. Kama kawaida yami of your host, Chief Okuzo. The media house explicitly stated, information provided in this program is not representative of Sasa TV. Sasa TV is a Christian channel and some content during hailing, deliverance and testimonies pertains to spiritual matters. Therefore, Sasa TV will not assume responsibility for such content. They said as Pastor Nganga continued his rant in the background. Oh. 1980 na wakati wa moi ikaja wakati wa kibaki uhuru amekuwako itaitwa ikato ikiweko mimi sikununua na uhuru ninunua 2004 hiyo government zote zimepita ICC ulikuwa wapi waeva ndieno ulikuwa wapi umezaliwa leo ICC ati nime grab nime grab mama yako Labish kirimi The controversy erupted when Pastor Nganga reacted to the EACC's legal actions seeking to revoke the title deed of the land housing his church. The ESCC alleged that the land was unlawfully acquired along with other parcels on Haile Selassie Avenue in Nairobi, originally designated for the Kenya Railways Corporation. Reportedly, the Kenya Railways Corporation had relinquished some of these lands for public projects, including government buildings and road infrastructure. However, They are currently seeking the court's intervention to reclaim these parcels of land since these lands had already been privatized. It was at this point that Pastor Nganga vehemently opposed the commission's move to involve the court. During a church service, Pastor Nganga issued a stern warning to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission (ESCC), cautioning them against meddling in his affairs. He hinted at severe repercussions if they dared to enroach upon the land where his church is situated. Pastor Nganga family asserted that the ESCC is colluding with certain politicians without the president's knowledge to seize the land. Additionally, he questioned the motives behind the ESCC's sudden interest in the land, pointing out that it had been under his ownership through the past three regimes with no previous government disputing its ownership by the railways let us go slowly slowly ukisia na kusubua toka ije mkaugana na ICC nasikia wanasema niliiba kewaja where ICC tafuta lika yako mimi si lika yako ndio kama ni lika yako mimi hatukusoma na wewe ICC Nasema nimeiba kiwaja mimi. Kiwaja taitudini ya 1980. Ikatoka 1992. 93 ni ko ndio nimetoka jela. Ikatoka 1999. Nikainunua 
Unasema mimi ni fake. Fake ni mama yako. Don't bring nonsense to me. Kama ni mwizi uriza CBK. Na wewe ACC enda kwa land. Mimi sipati wagi title D. Mimi sipatui title D. Narudia kusema muache sarakasi sababu unafanya mnataka kuharibia government jina. Nyinyi watu wa siasa mnataka kuharibia government jina. Na kama mnataka kutafuta jina kuharibu jina jingine si hapa. Hapa. Mama yako muulize mama yako. Mimi title D ni research ilikuwa imetoka 1980. Sijana nilikuwa kwa news Wacha niwe kwa news leo 1980 all, 1980 na wakati wa moi Ikaja wakati wa kibaki Uru wa meku wako ita ito Ikiweko Mimi siku nunua na uhuru Ninunua 2004 Iyo government zote zimepita ICC ulikuwa wapi Waeva Ndieno Ulikuwa wapi? Umezaliwa leo ICC. Ati nime grab, nime grab mama yako. While the pastor continued his impassioned speech live on television, Sasa TV management was compelled to mute his words to avoid potential conflict with the government for a brief period. Viewers could only observe Pastor Nganga's lips moving as he continued to express his grievances. Mama millions try me one day na nitafanya kitu wa muta amini macho yenu kama mimi nafanya hii kazi ya deliverance na nyinyi wakubwa mnanisubua utaona vile nitakutumia vitu mtaona vile nitafanya na hautajua kama ni mimi nilisikia harufu ya de, ya moshi sijui ni dege ama ni gari mtu ameshomekea ndani jana na kama hamjajua mimi si pasta mimi si bishop si wananionea sababu mimi sitegenesa kitu hicho di watu wa lands walipitisha nilipoenda ku search wakasema iko sawa hii taito di iliwekwa kwa Kenya gazeti ikakaa kwa Kenya gazeti hakuna mtu alipiga nimekaa hapa na railway all those 20 years hawaja niuliza minister mmoja alisema aachiwe nganga basi umeachiwa si mmetangaza kwa citizen ati niko na billion zenu kujeni kesho boda bode come tomorrow here kuja kesho nini alikuwa kwa mshuki alisema serikali itakungoa meno na kwambie ukachukue bidhiri si mimi me am a man of god kisirani jehu my blood muta, you try na sina buduki lakini mimi ni spiritual controller wana Kenya wachana na mimi edeni kwa ben hini Chezeni na Ben Hin. Memadiza hiyo. What is this now? Sasa sita ubiri sababu ya, ya, ya watu tukukaa kwa serikali munetek silani. Simunifuge mulipeta kamiti nitoke nikiwa mwizi tena. Kama muweze kutabua hii kasi nimefanya tagu nikiwa na mkokoteni. Munatabua kipchoge amekibia. Munatabua kipchoge, munatabua ule mtu alipigana gumi. Mnatabua ule MP sijui alipigania uhuru. Mimi nilitoka na ijiri hii gerezani mtu ajui kusoma. Na ni mwizi nikafika hapa leo. Jameni hata kama mko na wasimu. What is wrong with you? Simuache mimi nimalize kazi yangu. Kuna kitu kinakuja. Nimemaliza hiyo sababu mliogea na mimi nimeogea. Take me where you want. Now the confrontation between the ESCC and Pastor Ngang unfolds amid similar tensions faced by Bishop Margaret Wanjiro. Police recently raided her church situated along Haile Selassie Avenue, prompting accusation that the president in collaboration with the Kenya Railways MD is orchestrating the demolition of her church. Like Pastor Ngang, Bishop Margaret Wanjiro contends that her church has occupied the land for decades across different regimes portraying herself as a victim of unjust targeting she also made clear her stance against supporting the president and his administration any longer 
I was one of the founding members of UDA. I campaigned two years straight when others came to just steal what I had worked for. Yet, I let go. I've loved you, my president. I've loved you, my deputy president. I've loved your family. When you call, I obey, I answer. I've never disrespected or disregarded you. I've always loved you, prayed for you, and blessed you. But behold, from this day, take it from this altar. Tables are turning.